Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Today is a lovely chat video. It's a lovely chat video that's a day late. Cup of tea. These mugs which are from Tesco keep the tea so hot for so long. This has literally been made about half hour and it's only just got down to temperature. Today's my lovely chat video for October. I ain't been well. Um, I've had like <clears throat> As she coughs really rattly chest it's basically a cold a cold but it felt really awful and um it was it happened at the same my stars aligned and it happened at the same time as my period and i suffer really badly with my period anyway so it was just awful and david's been away and i've been feeling a bit blue um, i'm feeling better now i think i always feel sort of like quite low in mood around my period anyway uh, and that combined with not particularly sleeping very well because the um because not feeling very well and david not being here um yeah i just i've just been feeling a bit blue today i feel much better david is due back today my happiness and and uh, mental health does not rely on david being here i'm quite capable of feeling happy and um fine when david is here uh, when david isn't here but yeah i've just been like a bit flat um i am feeling much better now However, I did have a terrible, terrible night's sleep last night. David is away, I've mentioned. I'm, I'll keep mentioning it. And um, Minnie does not like it when one of us, one or the other of us is away. Um, she spends the whole night like running up and down the corridor, meowing and just being very cheeky. And I went to bed. So I finished watching The Apprentice and I was like, mm, I'll go to sleep now. This will be lovely. Feeling very tired. Went straight to go to sleep. And she's just treading all over me and like she's so cute and it's hard to to not find it cute but she is really annoying um and then like meowing sitting by the bed just looking up at me meowing then she does this thing and i've only ever seen this my mum and dad's cats my mum and dad used to have two ginger cats called tigger and pickle and they were my brothers and i love them um and pickle used to like stand up by the patio doors and go, <laughs> until someone let him in but minnie does that on the mirror and she used to do it in the mirror in our old house but because we've got like fitted wardrobes the doors are on like casters i believe the term is and they're like uh, 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 the whole time she's doing it so yeah i didn't get to sleep till like on midnight last night um and then woke up a bit late this morning so but still mad isn't it mad when you wake up late for work like i don't like <clears throat> i'm talking like significantly late for work i still managed to get there on time just shows how much faffing around i do in the morning so yeah so not a great night's sleep however um, I thought I would use today's lovely chat to talk about what I got up to last weekend, what I'm up to this weekend, and also just have a little quick update of my autumn bucket list. Um, just because I was like, I don't know when I'm going to talk about this otherwise, how I'm getting on with my, my thing. So you may well have seen a video where I talk about this um, bucket list um, of things I want to do in the, in the month of autumn, in autumn, um, and I will link that video down below if you haven't watched it, because I'm, I'm, it's very, it feels very autumnal, guys, if you want to get involved in this. I've now ticked off one, two, three, four, five five things from this list um, and I just thought I would just talk through the things that I've managed to tick off so far. Um, so I have set up my autumn windowsill display. Um, I put a photo of that on Instagram. I'm probably going to put another one up there because in the daylight it looks much nicer and I've also had, I've, I've been adding to it. Basically every time I've been to a shop and they've been selling little baby pumpkins I have bought a baby pumpkin. <laughs> a lot of my budget of food this month has gone on baby pumpkins and I was concerned like does anybody know this? these little baby pumpkin guys i feel tempted to go and get one but at the same time i can't really be bothered to get up um the little baby pumpkin guys can you still eat those because they feel really hard i'm not quite sure how i chop one up or anything like that and i've got a few squashes and things like that so um i will uh, put a photo of that on instagram later so i've done my, my window display and i've got like some nice lights and things wind through the window um i've read a thriller i read um lethal white well listen to the audiobook of lethal white by robert galbraith love that I talked about that in my uh, my wrap up from September, which I'll also link down below. It's linky time. Uh, watch the new Doctor Who. Not only did I watch the new Doctor Who at the weekend, guys, I dressed up like the new Doctor Who at the weekend. I'd seen this t-shirt in um, Urban Outfitters, and when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's like the new Doctor Who's t-shirt. I'm going to buy that. And then I was like, well, I want to get myself some um, yellow braces to go with it. So I bought some yellow braces. I think from a store, someone asked me where I got them from. I think they were just from a store on eBay um and um i had some like blue cord trousers on the only thing i was like in relation to those blue cord trousers i was unable to get three quarter length blue cord trousers so i didn't get bothered getting the books uh, the boots that she wears i just wore trainers but yeah i enjoyed dressing up as doctor who for the day um and then i absolutely loved it i thought it was amazing i think jodie whittaker is brilliant i feel like she was 
fun. She had like a certain, I feel like when it comes to more serious stuff, she's gonna be able to deliver some amazing lines. I loved the storyline. David, who's never really been bothered about Doctor Who. I used to watch Doctor Who when I was younger. And when it came back with Christopher Eccleston, I watched it then um, up until um, Matt Smith um, and then what didn't watch like the last half of Matt Smith and didn't watch any of Peter Capaldi um, but I am back with Avengers for this and David really really loved it and um, I'm really looking forward to just really getting into the um, getting into it now the, I, I like the fact that it's on a Sunday night as well because it feels like you can just get ready for for work like that can be like the, the wind down from the weekend but it did remind me a bit of when I was younger and I used to hear the Antiques Roadshow <laughs> theme tune and know that you had to go to school the next day <laughs> so it does remind me a bit of that but yeah very exciting because I can watch the Strictly results and then I can watch that so Sunday nights are pretty much sorted for me now um, so yeah watched the new Doctor Who and loved it um, I do a puzzle is the next thing that I've done I did one on holiday I did a 500 piece puzzle um, of a bookshelf I've actually got to give that puzzle to my sister. I promised her that I would um, I would give her that so she can do that. And then the last thing um, that I can tick off my list is the Wear Dark Nail Varnish, which I've got on this very instant. This is a uh, like a brown burgundy, very, very dark browny burgundy nail varnish from um, Essence, which is a cruelty-free um, makeup brand that they sell in Wilkinson's, which is a, I don't even know what sort of shop you would describe Wilkinson's is. It just basically sells fucking everything. Um, and their nail varnish is like £1.80 or something something and they stay on really well like I do a lot of typing um and that stayed on for like three days now well done me so yeah so that's how I'm getting on with me autumn uh, bucket list the weekend just gone we had Simon um from Savage Reads and his husband Chris come to stay with us which was lovely they arrived on the Friday night um and we had a very nice evening I cooked a um artichoke and spinach hash uh, with a fried egg atop it with sriracha mayo oh sriracha mayo that's nice isn't it does anyone else enjoy sriracha mayo? Um, and they said we just like had a chat on the Friday night, just caught up, that was lovely. And then Saturday we spent the day at Margate, um, which is somewhere um, I've done a vlog, I think last birthday, David and I, yeah, we did. My last birthday, David booked us an Airbnb in Margate, so we went and stayed there, um, which was lovely. And then, um, yeah, so just spent the day doing that. And then we also went to um, a sort of nearby shopping place where they had a Primark and a Sainsbury's um, and, um, what else do I have? Oh, a home sense where we got some more candles. Candles have just gone bonkers here, guys. We've just gone absolutely bonkers with candles. Um, and then Sunday, um, we went out for breakfast and then said goodbye to Chris and Simon, which was like just lovely, just a really nice weekend to see them. And then David and I went to our dance lesson. Uh, we've been taking dance lessons off the back of me um, filming a video called Ears for Exercise where I exercised every day throughout September and this is a memo to myself to edit that video because that video can go up shortly um, and uh, yeah so um, and part of that video um, David and I tried um, ballroom dance we've done one ballroom dancing lesson before many many years ago um, and really enjoyed it but now we've kept it up we've had three lessons now and we're going again this weekend um, and we're really loving it we've tried like we are best at tango like by far best at tango um, we tried the first week we tried cha-cha-cha which I liked David didn't like the second week we did so we did tango and cha-cha-cha the first week tango and quick step the second week quick step I just had no idea what I was doing and then tango and waltz week just gone and I feel like waltz is something that we we need to work on because there's a lot of like basic steps from that you can apply to other dances but we're both really loving it um david gets very very sweaty uh, <laughs> but we both really enjoy it and it um yeah it's just nice and enjoyable and i always leave with a big smile on my face um so yeah we're going to carry on doing that sadly in november we're really really busy in november and actually in december so i'm worried that we're not going to get much dancing done in um december uh, in november and december so we need to to plan it properly but yeah i've been very much enjoying that so we're doing that this weekend but apart from that we haven't really got any plans the only other thing is we were watching bake off during the week and roll um it, it was oh, i can't remember what they were making but roll what were they making? It was vegan week. And what did they have to do that involved Roll making a chickpea curry? Whatever they did, it involved Roll making a chickpea curry. And I said to David, I really want a curry this weekend. So I think I'm gonna make a really nice curry out of my Fresh India book tomorrow night um, on Friday night. So that'll be very, very nice. <clears throat> and then we've got dancing. I can't remember whether that's Saturday or Sunday. And then I have a half day today. So I've just driven home from work. And um, I drove past a place where they are, it's, it's like a pumpkin field. So one of my things that I wanted to go to was a pumpkin patch where you can go and take a wheelie, wheelie, wheelbarrow, wheelie bin, don't take a wheelie bin, wheelbarrow and go in 
um, get a pumpkin and things like that. And um, I wanted to go to one of those. And I saw that there was one there. Now, I don't know if it's open this weekend. My biggest fear is that I'll go and they'll run out of pumpkins and it will all be sad. So I want to go early. So although David and I had sort of committed ourselves to a weekend of not really doing much, I wonder if either before or after dancing, he might be interested in going to the pumpkin patch. So I need to put that to him um, when he's back tonight. So yeah, I need to do that. And then, yeah, just t telly for the rest of the weekend. Might go out for a walk down the beach, um, which would be nice. I think it's going to rain one day, so maybe not that day. So yeah, so that's what's going on with me. What are you guys been up to? what did you do last weekend what are you up to this weekend has anyone got like a list of autumny 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 things that you want to do autumny or autumnal either aut autumny or aut i'm not even gonna try and say it. has anyone got anything autumnal that they i've got planned to do um in the, the next few weeks and stuff so yeah that's it for me i've got to film another video now for tomorrow my filming's gone a bit mad actually. I'm very, very organised usually and I have a book and I plan what I'm going to film and things like that. But because like since we were on holiday, everything got pushed a bit back. I missed our Wi-Fi while we were away was just awful. So I missed a day um, and then everything's a bit up in the air at the moment. And I'm not even supposed to be filming a lovely chat until next week. But here it is early and it is lovely, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so I need to have a little, um, a little session where I uh, sort myself out and sit, sort out what I'm filming for the next... Uh, next few weeks also i've started planning vlogmas that is exciting i very much enjoy vlogmas if, if anyone if people weren't here for do you know what i might do in fact i will down below i will link the playlist for last year's vlogmas so vlogmas is something that happens on youtube not everyone takes part um it's hard work um where you put up a video every day um from in the advent period in the christmas advent period so from the first to the 24th of december now i've attempted this three times and last year was the first year that i completed it and did it every single day and i love doing it and i'm really really proud of what i managed to do um however looking back on it my vlogging skills are not the best <laughs> um so yeah so i've been thinking about what i'm going to include this year and what i included last year would love to hear if you've got any thoughts or anything that you would like to see included in vlogmas um yeah so sorry i'm a bit low energy today guys still not feeling great we'll be back to my normal energetic self maybe not tomorrow's video because that's still being filmed today but soon i'm sure I'm gonna go and change out of this long sleeve top because it's 21 degrees today. It's supposed to be, this is October, mid October. I was expecting to be in fluffy jumpers by now. Not a fluffy jumper in sight. Long sleeve top, too hot for me. Anyway, that's it from me, and I will see you all again soon for another not Vlogmas video, <laughs> booktube video. Bye!